So this is my 2012 Honda Accord and one of the issues is, is that I put in two batteries so the batteries are not holding a charge so the next thing that I'm going to be doing on this thing is changing the alternator and the alternator is a little bit of a pain to get to so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is raise the car up because we need to get two bolts at the bottom of the fan. And then you have two no. bolts at the top. Yeah. They're both 10 millimeter bolts. You're going to have to remove the bottle for the coolant. There's an electrical connection for the fan that you have to remove and it's kind of difficult. But I, I use some pliers and a very long flat scr uh, screwdriver to get at it and I did manage to remove it. Now with the fan removed, you should be able to reach the alternator much better. But before we get working with the alternator, we're going to have to remove the battery connector so there's no potential shock. First thing we're going to do is remove the electrical connections for the alternator. <laughs> Disconnect that one. Okay. Using an extension, you can get into the bolts, and after you remove it, you should be able to pull out the connectors very easily. Got that. This is a V6 Honda Accord, so it's much tighter than the four cylinder Honda. Now we need to relieve the tension from the the belt so there this is a custom tool and you can use a 14 millimeter socket to get into the pulley of the tensioner and you can tie that rod onto the hood just to relieve enough tension get at, at the bottom bolt of the alternator it's a 14 millimeter and you should use a breaker bar in order to reach it once it's uh, loose So there's two bolts holding the alternator. At the bottom there is a 14 millimeter bolt that's a little tricky to get to and after you get that there's a bolt on top and with that you should be able to release the alternator. I'm going to remove this plastic cover because the alternator is so tight in there that you can barely get it out and also remove the oil dipstick and with this you should be able to slide it up it's kind of a tight fit but you should be able to take the oil cap oil uh, check. check out okay and just uh, come it off okay and it's always good to use stock Honda parts but we are using an aftermarket Napa alternator you do have to remove this connector from the old alternator so you can put the electrical wire through and then it's just reverse order. You put the alternator in and slide it in. It is a little bit difficult to slide it into proper place but a lot of times you can just wiggle it and it'll get it in. Uh, we used a mallet to push the alternator back into its uh, holder. If it's difficult getting the alternator in, you can take a soft mallet okay. or a long screwdriver and just kind of pound it lightly in the metal bits that attach and you should be able to kind of push it in. Then afterwards, all you have to do is reverse the procedure by bolting on the alternator and then putting the belt back onto the alternator pulley and you should be on your way. So if your car is not charging the battery, it's potentially the alternator. Normally these Honda Accord don't fail very much, but this one, it's, it has over 10 years, so it lasted a long time. Then all you have to do is connect the electrical connections and you should be golden. This is a very difficult procedure because it's just tight but it's very easy to do if you take your time. The fan of course you have to tighten from the bottom. There's two bolts that pinch the fan together. Make sure you connect the fan connector 
before you put the fan in there and then just bolt the bolts on the top and you're ready to go put the battery back on and then start the car and see how she looks thanks for watching and i'll see you next video